From Vienna, the city where the old are old and the young are, well, old. Welcome to Socks Talk Politics. Our guest tonight, Jan Jarp Kochmann. Welcome, everybody, to Socks Talk Politics. Looks like the house is packed tonight. Speaking of houses... Um, I'm looking for a new drawer to crash in. Do you know any, Brian? Uh, kid, how many times do I have to tell you you can't just walk in here like you own the place? I don't, no. But you own a pretty nice place. Need a roomie? <laughs> uh, not in this lifetime or in any other lifetime, my young friend. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Keep your socks on. I just thought it would be nice, you know, a classic win-win situation. I see your win, but how in the world would that be a win for moi? Actually, the win is mainly on your side. I mean... Sure, it'd be great to be able to use your king-size washing machine or uh, to hang out on your mega outdoor clothesline. But uh, but for you, I mean, extra large win. Well, I'm (laughs) curious now, kid. Explain. Brian, Brian, Brian. You need to think about your future. You know, you're not the youngest anymore, and as a single sock, there will soon come a time when you'll wish for somebody who can help you out a little, who can trim your frayed edges, who can darn the holes of your twilight years. Well, and who could be better for that than me, right? (laughs) Kid, you're skating on very thin ice. Look, I'm just saying, think about it. Not a chance in... Hello. <laughs> what did you say? Are you two roomies now? He's thinking about it. I'm not. Maybe today's guest can help you make up your mind. The Humanitas Retirement Village, a long-term care facility in the city of Deventer in the Netherlands, offers free accommodation to students in exchange for 30 hours a month of help for the elderly residents. Please welcome Jan Jaap Kolkman who will tell us all about this marvellous project. Hello, Jan. Thank you for taking the time. Yes, and it's it's for me a pleasure to be here. Jan, could you tell us how your project works? It's called Humanitas Retirement Village, and uh, and it, well, the name it says it all. It is Humanitas is an, uh, an old uh, house for uh, elderly, as you have all over Europe. Uh, but uh, we try to do more about it. We make we try to make the connection with the neighborhood, and we try to make the connection with multi generational uh, prospect uh, uh, purpose on that. And we started uh, uh, with uh, the mission kickstart. We could say with uh, inviting a few students to live within in the house and uh, to work uh, uh, for thirty hours a month, mixing seniors with students. And the groundbreaking concept cracked the boundaries for us. I think. Um, and we did not only manage uh, the organizations, but also deliver the fundamental insights in about how we might create, and that's the thing, I think, an inclusive society. How do the residents and the students get along and what have their reactions been? Very good, I must say. Uh, uh, they, they, they are, uh, it's, it's funny, before, because, uh, for instance, we have a, a friendship even between uh, 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 students who, are, who has already left us uh, uh, because he, yeah, he's going on with his job, but uh, he, he comes back to uh, one of the, the old guys and looks with him uh, a football together uh, on uh, uh, watching tele- on television. And that kind of relationships are very important uh, for it uh, gives both uh, a meaning uh, to uh, some lives. Not only everyone has a granddad, not everyone has a grandson. So, and together, the, the, to that, that kind of togetherness Gives um, uh, gives meaning to life, gives meaning to uh, 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 inclusion. What's an important lesson you took away from this? The f- most funny thing about elderly homes is that you put a group of all people to each other, and they come from an open society, and suddenly they are only with the eighties and the nineties. You could say, eh? in the, in the, that's funny. That's a real funny thing to do. And we accepted that as society in the past because of we wanted to take care of them. But now 
we do it as a mechanism. We don't think even about it. And what I learned, uh, we learned about it, is that no, don't do that. Try to uh, uh, organize it in a way in which it is, is also an open society. Thank you, Jan. Your project is brilliant. I think it's a marvellous way to bring generations closer together. Well, that was very informative. You know what, kid? I think I'll think about it. Uh, that's all I wanted to hear. Hey, Nancy, can I ask you something? Sure, Brian. Why are you so keen for Kid to move in with me? I thought Kid was living with you right now. And that's it for tonight. We had a great show and we'll see you next week on Socks Talk Politics. Uh, until then, uh, drop your grand socks a clothesline and hang out with them. And remember to stay on your toes. Uh, hey, Nancy, what the heck is going on with you and Kid? Wait a minute. Is it because Kid is... What? Nancy! 